What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to give some beginner tips for Black Ops Cold War. I've been playing the last couple days, but I've also been very busy doing other things in the real world. And so I've not had time to upload until today. So I hope you guys can kind of bear with me. There hasn't been an upload on the channel in a day or so, but everything should get back to normal this week. Let's go ahead and talk about some things, like I said, that can kind of help out people that are just starting out. I know the game only has been out for a day or two. There'll still be some people that are just getting into playing. There'll be some people that are going to pick up the game here in the next few weeks, around Christmas, around Black Friday, whatever the case may be. And hopefully a lot of this stuff will help you out along the way because there's some things that are a little bit different, in my opinion, in this game compared to other Call of Duty games in the past. The first thing is don't sprint everywhere. And that is always the thing that you kind of always say in a first-person shooter. You don't want to just be running around like a chicken with your head cut off, as the old saying goes. Because if you do, you're going to be able to be heard. You're not going to be able to ADS quick enough. But in this game, you're not unlocked dead silence until pretty late in the rank up process. And your footsteps are pretty loud. A lot of people have good headsets. A lot of people have good sound settings. A lot, if you play cross-play, people can hear you on Xbox, PC, PS4. Everybody's sound is really good, depending on what you play on, depending on what kind of headset you use. And in my opinion, if you're running around a lot, you're going to be dying more than you're going to be killing. And until you can figure out the maps, learn kind of the routes people are using until you unlock dead silence, uh, until you unlock a lot of attachments on subs so you can run and gun, it's probably not the best idea to just be running around like crazy right off the bat. You want to be able to take your time and kind of just go with the flow until you've learned everything. And like I said, until you have a lot of the stuff unlocked. The next thing would be head glitching is pretty much king in the game. You're going to notice a lot of people are head glitching on rocks, boxes, any item they can find. Of course, we don't have anything like you did in Modern Warfare where you can mantle. So it's back to that old school style Call of Duty where if you're on a head glitch, the majority of the time you're going to win. Most people that have good aim on a head glitch will beat you if you're not on a head glitch. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I, I'm a, I get in a bad habit, always have, of someone being on a head glitch and I just continuously go after them, just feeding them kills, feeding them their kill streaks. That's not a good idea. Uh, make sure if someone's on a head glitch, that you're trying to find a different route to get to them or completely avoid them altogether. That way you're not just feeding them kills. And of course, if you can find a place to head glitch, I mean, sometimes a lot of people consider it to be cheesy, but at the same time, if you're not doing it, someone else is going to be. So sometimes it just, you know, you got to do it. <laughs> anyway, um, going on to the next thing, pay attention to the uh, gunsmith stats. Now there's no confirmation yet if all these stats are correct in the gunsmith, but you can look at uh, individual stats of each attachment that will be pulled up on kind of a graph that will show you kind of what the gun does. You know, if it's going to be slower at ADS, better at long range, um, you know, slower sprint out time, depending on what attachments you do have equipped. Now, Exclusive Ace has been doing a lot of diving into this, and I'm sure as the longer the game is out, the more we're going to start to understand about these attachments and, and if these stats that, that are shown in game are absolutely 100% accurate. But for right now, make sure that you're checking all this, uh, the, you know, your stats for all the attachments that you have on your weapon to just, so you'll know this advantages and disadvantages. If you have a gun that's stacked up with a lot of stuff to make it very accurate, but make it very slow ADS or very slow sprint out, you're not going to want to be running around or if it's vice versa. If you have a gun that's not very accurate range, but it has very good sprint out, very good uh, ADS times, you're going to want to be running and gunning more. So make sure that you're kind of fitting your play style to those wet, uh, attachments that you have kind of fit those statistics that your weapon is showing. Um, pick score streaks that you can get. I know a lot of people see the big score streaks in game, uh, AC-130s, VTOLs, um, chopper gunners. If you're not getting those consistently, in my opinion, there's no really a, a need in running them. And when I say consistently, if you can get those one out of every three, one out of every five games, that's not too bad. But if you can get a UAV, a counter UAV, a, a cruise missile, which in my opinion is the best kill streak in the game, uh, you know, a grenade launcher, um, artillery strike if you can get those things consistently and do well with them i would recommend you use the kill streaks that you can get game in and game out a lot of people see the big kill streaks they want to get them and i understand it's a lot of fun and i've been using them myself a little bit but at the same time i don't get them consistently enough right now to use them in my opinion all the time so i try to pick things that i can get every game you know at least once or multiple times um there are ammo caches across the map on every map I'm assuming. I've not found them on every single map, but there's a lot of maps that do have ammo crates kind of scattered throughout it. So if you're not running scavenger yet, um, you don't have the ammo pack to throw down. Um, you can find those ammo caches kind of scattered, like I said, across some of the maps. Like I said, I have not found them on all the maps, but it is a kind of a handy tip to know. That way, you know, if you're getting close to being out of ammo, you can go find some. Um, one of the things is, STEM does unlock early, and I know a lot of people have a difference of opinion on STEM. 
But in my opinion, it unlocks so early, it's kind of a good idea to use it. It's a bad idea not to, uh, because it will save your life. I mean, STEM, it, it regens pretty quick, not as quickly as it did in the beta. But overall, STEM can keep you alive in some serious gunfights. So until you kind of figure out exactly what you want to run in that lethal slot, like I said, you do unlock STEM, I think at like five or six. So I would recommend using that until you know exactly how you want your class set up to be. And last but not least, make sure you tweak your settings. I'm going to have another video later today that's showing the settings that I use here on PS4. But make sure you tweak your settings. There are a lot of things in game that can help with accuracy, that can help, uh, or settings wise, that can help with accuracy. There's a lot of things in the settings that can make the game look a lot better where you can see enemies at a distance. Like I said, I'm going to go over all that stuff in that video that I'm going to post later today. But make sure that you're tweaking those settings because the default settings aren't bad, but in my opinion, they're also not very great either. Of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know how you're enjoying Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I've been trying to play as much as I can over the last couple days. Of course, like I said, I have been very busy also, so I haven't got in the playtime exactly that I want. I have been playing a good bit, though. And like I said, I was trying to get footage and everything like that besides uh, doing all the other stuff I had to do. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Like I said, let me know what you think about the game. Let me know, um, of course, you know, if you have any tips for anyone down in the comment section below, you can always leave those. You always... You know, any tips can always help someone out. So, you know, if you have anything like that that you would like to leave in the comment, feel free. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all of my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, which of course is the affiliate here on the channel, the community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.